Okay, good afternoon, everybody. And thank you for being here for our third Sunday afternoon YouTube live chat and video launch. Um, we're glad you're with us. And uh, we are going to um, talk about our piece. We're just, I'm just going to um, mute our um, stream here on YouTube. Just give me one moment to adjust. There we go. And um, so, yes, welcome. Um, and we're very excited to bring you um, another recording uh, this month um, that we uh, performed at our uh, concert, our 10th anniversary concert. We've played a couple of those. Um, and by the way, we do have some coming to you uh, in the coming months that aren't uh, previous recordings, but that are recordings we've been working on during the pandemic um, behind the scenes. Uh, and so those will be uh, coming shortly in the in the coming month or two. I believe this next month's one will be one of those. Um, so stay tuned for more information there. Um, we're here, of course, today with uh, myself, Michelle Jaco, and Roy Greaves. Um, and we are going to, uh, I'm going to get Roy to talk about today's piece. But I also wanted to um, remind you that there is a chat uh, going on on the right of your YouTube screen. And we'd love to hear from you. Um, we'd love to um, know who you are, where you are, and um, of course, if you have any questions, we would love to hear them and hopefully answer them for you. Um, so please remember that the chat is there, and uh, yeah, we'd love to we'd love to interact. So please uh, please drop us a, a note. And uh, so um, uh, before we do get started on today's topic. Um, I did want to mention that the choir received some sad news recently um, about the passing of Jack McQuarrie. And Jack McQuarrie was um, the columnist for the band column in the Whole Note magazine here in the GTA. He was uh, he worked for Whole Note for years, and um, he also had a fascinating life doing all kinds of things. Um, we do have a link to his obituary in our newsletter um, that you would have received um, with the reminder of today. So you can scroll down and click on that and read about Jack. Um, he was an amazing supporter of our group and we are very sad um, to hear of his passing. Um, he was lovely. He always mentioned us in his columns and he um, gave us some great ideas for some repertoire actually and we'll probably be talking about that with you at some point um, in the coming months. Uh, so we are sending condolences to his family um, and uh, we're hoping to uh, when we get back in to be able to being able to play in person we're hoping to um, dedicate uh, one of our pieces to him that he suggested that we uh, perform. So uh, anyway, so more on that as that comes later. Um, but back to today, we are going to um, be playing for you the Anne of Green Gables medley. And this was written specifically for us um, by uh, Fen Watkin, or it was arranged for us by Fen Watkin. Um, and written, the, the, the actual medley was written by Norman Campbell. Uh, so I'd like Roy, if you wouldn't mind, to talk to us a little bit about that. Sure. Um, well, Anne of Green Gables is uh, sort of an iconic Canadian story. Uh, it was originally published in 1908 um, uh, by uh, uh, L.M. Uh, Montgomery, yes, Lucy Maud Montgomery. Sorry, there's so, so many names and numbers around me right now. Um, I, I, I remember growing up that I never read the books, but the, there were several of the books. Uh, there was Anne of Green Gables and, and uh, sequels. And uh, my sisters all read them avidly, I, I understood. And uh, I, think the, I think the reason was, is, is the name, uh, was the nature of the protagonist. Uh, Anne Shirley is the, um, the young girl, the 11 year old girl that's in, in this. And, and I think she was uh, a very uh, powerful role model for uh, young girls when reading this, these books. And that's 
one reason why I think they were very popular. Um, so it's set in the late 19th century and, and Shirley's uh, orphan who's um, mistakenly sent to two middle-aged siblings who originally wanted to adopt a boy to help them on their farm in the fictional town of Avon, Avonlea in Prince Edward Island. Um, so uh, the, the books basically chronicle and uh, um, uh, adventures as she grows up in, in the town and in school and all of these sorts of things. And um, so at some point, uh, we have um, Norman Campbell, Elaine Campbell, his wife, and Don Heron uh, got together and decided they were going to write a musical uh, based on Anne of Green Gables. And um, this, I gather, started in the 50s because by 1956, they actually had on CBC uh, a film version of it. And uh, eventually it was developed by 1965 into a premiere at the uh, Charlton Festival in PEI. And this is where Fenn comes in, I think, because he was the associ uh, associate music director at the time there when it first started. And eventually he became the um, uh, music director uh, of uh, the festival. And um, so he has over, or he had over 40 years of experience uh, being the music director at the Charleston Festival doing Anne of Green Gables. And um, at some point, Fenn was, uh, one of our members was in contact with Fenn and he um, uh, basically encouraged Fenn to get in touch with me and, and uh, long story short, we eventually Fenn arranged uh, several pieces for us. But when it came to um, the Anne of Green Gables medley, uh, I remember him talk, talking to him once, probably was at a rehearsal that he was there while we were running through it. And, and he, he told me that um, the music of Anne of Green Gables was very close to his heart. And uh, I, I think he took great pleasure in, in um, sharing it with us and arranging it for us. And it was a very special treat for him to hear us play it. Um, and, um, and interestingly, uh, recently, um, Melissa Campbell, who is the daughter of Norman Campbell and Elaine Campbell, uh, we were in touch with. She had left a, a little note on our um, uh, Facebook page. And um, uh, let me just see you know, the exact quote here that she said. Um, uh, well, yeah, it, she said that uh, of her father, she said of her father, he and my mom, Elaine, would be so proud. And she was saying this of, um, of Fenn's arrangement for us. And, and, and I, I had a, a chance to contact her and, and uh, spoke with her. I had a great chat the other day. And she was so enthusiastic and positive about this. And I think, I think it came from um, growing up with his family, uh, she, she would travel with her family to PEI every summer for the festival. She was there at the premiere and, um, and I gather she's seen every single show um, except for last year when it was canceled because of the COVID um, uh, crisis. So, uh, but she hasn't had missed a single show in all those years. And uh, the thing that, um, I took away from all this, it was just such a pleasure speaking to her about how much joy and pleasure that she had uh, growing up as a young girl, uh, seeing this uh, grow and develop and being around these people like Fenn and her parents and, and uh, all of this music. And so that's kind of what, the backstory about, about where we are, why, why we ended up doing this performance, uh, doing, doing this piece. And it's because of um, uh, having wonderful people like Fan as a ranger uh, with wonderful experience and that they can uh, put this stuff together for us. And we're very fortunate that he, as well as many others, as we've mentioned in the past, have, um, have been very generously uh, writing for us, and, uh, specifically for us. Um, That's great. Thank you, Roy. I also um, wanted to mention 
uh, that Fenn would come regularly to our concerts um, mm. and would often, you know, stay behind and say hello and compliment us on, you know, our work. And it was just a lovely uh, relationship that we had um, with Fenn um, along the along the way and over the years. Um, so this piece, when he wrote this particular piece, we were just uh, over the moon about it. And we also had a lot of fun rehearsing it um and uh just you know getting it ready and uh well you'll see i don't want to spoil it but there's a cute little moment <laughs> about ice cream um and we we had fun with that so uh it was great it was a great experience uh mm. and it's also nice to to be able to relive it with you today um i also wanted to um say hello to joan andrews uh who is um Jack Macquarie's partner and uh, thanks Joan for saying hello um, and th hello to a few others um, Gord and Regina and uh, Sarah and Mrs. Saga um, Elizabeth Sloan hello Josh um, or the, oh no that's not Josh that's Melissa hello Melissa Campbell um, thank you for being here today and uh, we really appreciate uh, the chance to have uh, from Roy to have talked to you the other day. That was wonderful. Um, so thanks everybody. Um, and uh, yeah, Allison is asking if we played this for the first time at the Canada 150. I think that might have been the second time we played it. Okay. Um, it, that was a few years ago and <laughs> things get a little fuzzy. I, I, I should have looked that up. But um, but I kind of think that was the most recent time we played it. Well, well, the, the performance that you're going to hear is the most recent performance that we did. And I think it was the second time we performed it. Yeah, I I know we performed it a couple of times, but uh, yeah. I don't quite remember when. Kind of as you say, it sort of you get you forget after a while. <laughs> well, it is our twelfth season, and uh, our Sorry. lives are pretty busy. It's, it's sometimes difficult to remember uh, which piece was performed when unless we look at unless we look it up definitely yeah so anyway we're really looking forward to uh hitting play in a few minutes um but i also wanted to just uh talk about a few items of housekeeping i please i forgot to say this last month please subscribe to our channel down below and uh, please also hit the notifications bell for uh, notifications, um, you know, for upcoming things. And when we have our monthly, we, we have these every month, uh, certainly for the next while, we will have the last Sunday of every month, we will have a video launch for you um, and, and pre-chat. Um, we next, this coming month, as, as I say, is hopefully going to be a project that we have been working on behind the scenes. Uh, during COVID and uh, I won't give it away, but um, it's going to be good, I hope. <laughs> um, and uh, it's been a great learning curve for all of us, of course, with the technology piece and uh, especially um, huge kudos to Roy for um, figuring out all of the technological aspects of it. Um, it's been an amazing, you've been so amazing, Roy, with all your hard work there. So thank you for that. Um, so, so, uh, stay, stand by, stay tuned, uh, pardon the pun for, for next month's recording launch. Um, and, um, I think that's the housekeeping done, I think. Um, Roy, you need to mention just to one more time. I know, and we also, I'm sure we have new viewers too today, but to, to explain how to actually get to the recording, it will not come. If you just sit here, nothing will happen. You will, you'll, well, you might get some random other recording, but you won't actually get to hear end of Green Gables. So Roy, can you tell us well, what we need to do? I, just before I do that, I, I noticed Allison's co uh, comment that she's correct. Uh, the first time was the Canada 150 special concert we did, and then the second time is the 10th anniversary one that is the one is the one that we saw. So, um, right. Well, um, it, let's uh, let's get the show on the road then. So, in order to see this, once we're done here, you have to look below the video and uh, look into the description. And in the description, it tells you about what we're the chat that we're just currently do, but then it says show more. You have to hit show more, and then underneath it'll open up further, 
and then you'll see the link to the video. You have to click that link, otherwise you're not going to see Anne of Green Gables. You're going to see some random uh, video that uh, YouTube thinks you might be interested in, rather than the one that you came here for. Um, so uh, I think that's about it. And um, Michelle, any last words before we say I think to just, uh, for, this is a personal favorite of mine. It's really fun. It was fun to, to put together. It was fun to to perform. And I hope you enjoy it as much as we do, did and do, still do. Um, and it's 4.00, so we're exactly on time. Uh, enjoy enjoy the 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 performance uh, and uh, we'd love to hear your comments as well so uh, you'll hopefully be able to uh, leave some comments below um, and uh, let us know what you think so yeah I think we're we're good to go right okay. okay thanks see everybody see you next month see you next month bye bye